What's going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I'm going to give you an overview of some of the current data points, what's been influencing the stock price as of late, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So Lucid did go down 0.47% today, rather low for volume. So 18.09 million shares being traded, 26 is the average. At the time of doing this video, there was no SEC filings, no press releases, nothing like that. So it is just the broader market trying to digest their recent earnings as well as the recent launch of the gravity which in my opinion was a fairly big success but a lot of people are questioning why isn't Toulouse going up significantly and plain as day it is because the gravity is coming out production wise tail end of 2024 so you do have to wait quite a while as for that catalyst to kind of realize and come to fruition so as it stands we're just kind of stuck in limbo and we already do know exactly what happens in that case, just shorts tend to just manipulate the stock price uh, very accordingly. So I'm gonna go over all that, but when it comes down to options activity today, $407,000 in calls being purchased versus 1.17 million in puts. So based on this information, people are anticipating for Lucid to continue to trend down, and that's more so linked to the technicals, but I'll touch on that in a second. Looking at the calls, this is all the strike prices, expiry dates, based on this information, it is anticipated to go roughly between the four to 450 by the end of next week. And looking at puts, people are anticipating for it to be sub four dollars so once again i'll link to the technicals and no matter what though when it comes to options activity it does not move the stock price it is just merely a sentiment one interesting thing though that i did notice this week with lucid especially with tomorrow being a holiday so for all the americans that are watching happy thanksgiving but with the market closed and friday a shorter day a lot of people did take the whole week off and throughout the week so far i have been looking at a lot of stock Stocks that are heavily shorted just to see what is happening and shorts this week haven't been doing anything with exception of lucid so i think that's more telling so i'm gonna break it down on what i mean so ultimately shorts did return about 1.42 million shares of lucid which can be seen as very optimistic because with it closing red and them closing out their positions it shows that it's not really justified the red day so that's more on a side note but 27.77 percent of the free flow is being shorted which is rather high 246 million shares overall are being shorted and cost of borrow average right here is 17.59 percent through interactive broker short availability does indicate that there's roughly around 600,000 shares available to be shorted but going back to my main point especially like i said with a lot of the american American brokerages, hedge funds are taking a lot of the week off. This is why in a lot of cases, you don't see shorts doing anything on very heavily shorted stocks. But in Lucid, it was still very active. So throughout this whole week, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So in reality, I think this is fair to assume that whoever is shorting Lucid is not an American company. So doesn't really, no companies come to mind um, ultimately, but let me know your thoughts on that. It is kind of a far-fetched idea, but I think because of the holiday and many other things, it kind of gives us a glimpse into who is exactly shorting Lucid. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But based on the latest round of 13 Fs, this is some of the strategic entities and the institutions that do own Lucid. So maybe some of these are, maybe have HQs or whatever else are governed outside of the states that could be really shorting Lucid that way. But no matter what, I do feel that shorts are going to start to return some of their position by the tail end of December. And my reasoning for that is based on the new SEC ruling that did come out in September for, I guess, more transparency it does help companies that are on the threshold list and for future 13 f's but regardless you do have to show your positions so if uh, for instance just throwing it up there two sigma investments they're the first company that shows up right here but let's say they are shorting lucid so then what happens is they do have to disclose absolutely everything going forward on future 13 f's so if a company doesn't want to have red hands uh, or be caught short uh, what they would do is they would close out their positions prior to that new ruling kicking off. So this is why I do feel by the tail end of December, you might actually see this drop pretty significantly. So from 27.7, it could go back down to 
where it normally was sitting between the 15 to 20 percent range so that might actually help the stock price bigger picture but let me know your thoughts on that and if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information such as ownership levels analyst ratings so the latest ones which last one being bank of america but if you're looking for a lot of good compiled information take a look at interactive brokers for all of this to be completely free link in the description below and also the comments but like i said uh, when it comes down to this information shorts returning is kind of an optimistic bullish aspect looking at the options not so much and let's cap it all off with some technicals so with it closing at four dollars and twenty cents it is between this s1 and the pivot and the whole reason reason why it hasn't really broken out over the last little bit is because there hasn't been anything to really get it above this pivot point of $4.59. With the gravity launch, it was kind of flirting with it. I think it reached a high of around $4.60 or $4.70, something like that. But without any justified reason for it to stay there, it kind of got dragged back in. So it is consolidating as it stands, which in general isn't all that bad. Uh, still bigger picture. It's still very healthy. But two points to watch for going into, I guess, Friday now, half the day. $3.94 is going to be that next strong support. And then vice versa, that $4.59 is going to be that point that you need to really watch for to for it to get over ultimately. And looking at the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors have been getting out of Lucid. So that's kind of uh, odd when it comes to that. So if you are one of those individuals that have been selling, why? Um, so what's your viewpoint on that? Stochastic is currently at 53, no defined trend, but with it at 53, it's not really oversold. It's not overbought, kind of just neutral uh, when it comes down to that. So overall, I think Lucid does need to provide a little bit more transparency on its operations, especially more so on the app two facility on how that actually is going. So again, I think there's some room for improvement when it comes to Lucid, and this is why it hasn't actually broken out yet because the next big 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 catalyst which is the gravity is not necessarily anytime soon so late 2024 it'd be ideal if they move it back to the original projection of the first half of 2024 i feel like that would be a very good catalyst but as it stands we're kind of just stuck in limbo but i think we've been like that for a very long time now so let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below also to note it is higher percentile of the boiling event so going into friday you'll really want to watch that support to hold as well so if it doesn't then you might actually see it tracing down into here so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe always greatly appreciate that and one final thing take advantage of this promo link in the description below and also the comments it's been extended up until november the 30th but sign up for an account throw a hundred dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars plus any cash that you do have does earn 5.1 percent apy so this is the best deal on the market so take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said, I appreciate all of you watching.